Hello there everyone, and welcome back to Shogun 2 Fall of the Samurai with the Scramble for the Far East mod. Last time around we took on the remnants, really, of the American Navy. We were able to capture some of those ships, and we put them to good use, setting everything afire, which looked absolutely spectacular against the water there and the ships completely ablaze. Since then, I've gone ahead and tried to work a little bit off-camera, getting things going, hoping that I could uh, make some moves on my enemies. It hasn't gone too well. I'm afraid that the siege over at the former Prussian capital might very well uh, succumb to the... Uh, the enemy. They are actually laying siege to the... or they are sieging us out, as it were. They're not trying to charge in, which I was hoping, in a case that I would actually win the battle, so this poses quite a bit of difficulty if the enemy were to retake that. Um, that we... especially now when we don't have that strong forth force in the north, However, with the ports, with the port opening up in the north, or in my capital, and me gaining access to these wonderful American ships, I'm pretty sure I could dare sail a um, the elite army across to aid us here in the north. But it would still take probably like half a year to get them here, or at least a season, uh, if I sailed right away right now, which is probably not the case. Anyways, with all that side things, what are we looking at here? You Yes, an ambush! So, I had my general, which was raised from the ranks after that wonderful siege he took part of, um, he was moving forward, trying to ambush the force that moved in here. But they moved too many Prussians in in the area and decided, you know what? Probably best to retire. As we were moving back, I was moving back and forth through the woods here, trying to still stay hidden and in kind of an ambush location. The ambush has actually worked, and a enemy Prussian force has moved into it. Still very dangerous, though. Quite a few of these Hanoverian guards and so on. And it's not entirely in our favor. We do outnumber them, but just by about 400 men. So it's definitely going to be a difficult battle still. But we have the advantage of being able to set up all around them. Which uh, should work out pretty well. But... Fingers crossed that we are victorious. This is a pretty darn extreme ambush. I don't know exactly how the Prussians were able to get themselves in a mess like this, but if we look at the map, they're able to set up their troops in this small strip, and I'm starting right next to them. I mean, the area they're able to spawn within is even smaller than the uh, effective range of the muskets. I've set up my cannons here, ready to fire down through here, and then we've got on one side, we've got uh, our uh, more of the Vladimir Alexandrovich infantry, which I believe has better stats in shooting while the shit infantry, as I call them, is over on this side. So the my idea is that these guys are going to charge in, lock the Prussians in combat, while this side will be uh, has set to kneel fire or fire through cannons just to add a little bit of extra power through right here. General, light infantry, and the Cossacks. Um, with that, I think I'm gonna set these guys to melee already. Could, you know, I'm gonna set, have them on fire at will just to start, so we get volleys from both sides. With that, let's go ahead and start. Prepare to attack, okay, so sir. the uh, enemy is down there.
Okay, they are firing back a little bit. But definitely not a lot. I'm gonna get my general down through here. Seems as though these guys are not firing, so... I'll order them to join in the melee. And then this one's not really being able to fire as much. So we're going to join in the melee over here. This one's actually losing to melee. Well, then again, he charged grenadiers. Well, we're firing into our own men. All fire. Doesn't seem to be working that great. I'm gonna get the cavalry in here. Where are you guys going? Why are you going over there? So we've got one enemy unit that has shattered. I need them to hit the strong points here where we've got a lot of enemy infantry. My Cossacks are coming in. Need to keep the pressure up on these guys. So they're all they're definitely holding on down here. But I am bringing more and more of these guys down. And for now, the guys on the side are holding still. Oh, and this unit kind of had turned around. So it's actually holding now. Here comes the Cossacks. Going in on the side. Oh, and the enemy was broken. We have one unit broken over there. More and more of my men are coming down, attacking the Prussian force. Even with the fact that we ambushed the enemy, we are losing a lot of men. Move the general further down. Let's see, where's my Cossacks? Let's hit the uh, guards over there, see if we can break unit them. Is running from the battlefield, sir. Well, that's not great. There's a few units of Prussians still holding on over here. We can inspire the cavalry. It's those Hanoverian guard units that are holding on. I also don't like the fact that we're kind of stuck here. Uh, in the way we have. I need to hit these guys. At the same time I need to shoot Sir, at these guys in the back. Is under attack. Come on guys, you need to break through. We need to hit those last Hanoverian guards. Also, there's tons of Prussians now getting away because we're not sufficiently cutting these guys Victory down. Is assured, sir. There we go. Everyone will concentrate now and bayonet charge. Make sure to get those guard units. Looks like my Cossack unit was destroyed during this. Damn those uh, Prussian guard units. He's running now. That means we have won. But it's not as stunning as stunning victory as one might have hoped. And there's still tons of Prussians in this area. But it was definitely a victory and I'm hoping that um, we indeed inflicted more damage on the enemy than they did on us. It would seem so because... Uh, the men tire, sir! Well, they They're are leaving the field. Very bloody field here. His result!
of that battle, I deployed 3,700 men, where of which we lost 1,700, leaving 1,900 men left. The Prussians deployed 3,300, where in which 2,500 were killed, leaving about 800 of them left. Uh, highest killers goes to infantry and some Alexandrovich infantry. Don Cossacks end up here. Seven men remaining and the unit is actually intact after that. So no unit died, but we did take quite a bit of casualties um, compared to what I'd hoped to achieve here. But then again, a lot of Prussian Guard units. And those guys are deadly. We managed to get a statue for that battle. The uh, Ambush Battle of Fukushima in 1868. Very nice battle. Since then I decided to move up onto the hill uh, to avoid the rest of the Prussians which came in ri rather soon afterwards. But for some reason decided to hide in the woods rather than attack and destroy us. Seemingly, they don't want to attack. There's one turn until surrender. Uh, we're going to lose it unless... Unless the Prussians might be persuaded to have a temporary truce. This deal is satisfactory. Can I exchange host? They have no children available. Um, if we, I'm not sure. Well, the reason why I would want to take children is because that would ensure that they wouldn't attack immediately after. Unless, of course, they want to kill off the children. Can I can I demand money off them? You think I can demand 10,000? Okay, they won't go for that. I imagine they have lots more. How about 5,000? No. Okay, how about... 2,000. No, okay. How about just temporary peace then? You're this close. You're this close to recapturing indifferent neutral. What? They're not that unhappy with us for some reason. They're, they were that close. It so close from taking it and they just they probably gonna declare war directly but again but this saved the capital for now which is great we're gonna assume that war is coming pretty soon anyway so I'm gonna march this army up to the border here so I can push through to Miyagi pretty soon um here we'll try to uh, make sure that we can move in on the Americans. I'm kind of moving troops around. It's going to take a while to organize this in a, in a good way. Hopefully this gives me quite a bit of time to organize troops and so on. I have recruited extra cavalry here. Uh, could be sent through the rail line up through the north. I'm also, since we need to... Um, add a lot of troops to the north. I'm recruiting extra troops here which have uh, easy access to the rails and I can move them here if necessary. Uh, but the most important part is not to do with the Prussian truce but to do with the navy over here. We're starting to repair all the ships and soon I will be able to depart with this army. I kind of halted the recruitment of a lot of troops here, but um, seeing as though the port has opened up again, we should definitely start up with recruiting troops here. And also now when my ports are at full function, this one got attacked though. I've kind of interesting here the Dutch came in to kind of rescue my port. It's kind of interesting. Um, but soon my porch will be running at full speed. I think we can afford some of this really heavy cavalry. Um, but there's no more moves to make. Let's go ahead and end turn and see if the Prussians 
are gonna hold on to this. Um, I want torpedoes. Uh, see if they're gonna, you know, agree to this for any more than just one turn. I'm pretty sure they're gonna attack us again, but seeing as though they were, you know, neutral, indifferent neutral, only six minus, I might be able to hold on to a lasting peace, or at least for quite a while with the Prussians. It wouldn't be fair to my Dutch allies, but it could be a pretty nice thing to hold on to this for a while. What if I started a trade agreement as well? Now we're trading, now we're friendly, 44 plus. It's pretty good. Uh, I'll promise to aid the Dutch with gold then. I'm gonna send them money. Just so they keep the Prussians at bay for a while. I do think the Prussians gonna attack us as soon as possible. Did I lose income from starting trade with the Prussians? Or is it that just I'm not able to... Ah, I would... 14,000 from Prussian trade. Currently it's blocked because the sea trade route is blocked. But if that opens up, I'll gain 14,000 from that. That would be pretty darn impressive. Let's go ahead and turn and see if I can't cash in on that. Although I do imagine that Prussians are going to declare war on us again. As it turns out, the Prussians do actually hold on to the peace. I'm still gonna prepare in case it breaks. Or I'm definitely gonna break it in 10 turns, I imagine. Uh, that would give me plenty of time to recruit enough troops to renew our attacks on the Prussians. However, the Prussian threat might be over. Their agents certainly hasn't gotten the memo. Uh, this guy definitely needs to get assassinated. So do all these. Um, no, my I believe I had two assassins here. Where's the other one? Ah, he's in here. No, that's... Um, this guy is for training. Didn't I have another assassin? Anyways, what I was talking about was these forces coming in. We have quite a lot of Americans now turning up, and we still have this American unit over here, although this one suffered a lot through the winter. Um, my general in the area has turned up, and now he's ready to defend this area. And once I'm able, I should be able to move out the artillery, which I've placed this garrison here, plus the very experienced infantry. That was a mistake, putting so much experienced infantry in there. Uh, I have a lot of units that have lower experience. But we'll fix that around, get the troops going, and also starting... Now I started with the um, heavy cavalry, maybe I should have gone... Um, started building uh, in the Vladimir or the Alexandrovich infantry instead get them ready. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to risk the faction leader. He's going to move with one of these armies. And we should actually move one of the um, Dragoons over here. And one of these guys should move over to the faction leader. I'm going to see about making two 20 stacks. And we're going to transport them by ship over to the north of Japan. I'm sending this fleet right now, so I split the force up there, trying to deal with the Americans, which are attacking this port right now. I guess they decided they're not gonna go for the main port anymore, seeing as though they lost quite um, a devastating loss up there with those mighty ships. I don't think those are particularly uh, cheap to recruit. We need to, um, this bulge right here needs to be removed. Uh, but first, of course, we need to deal with these. So there's still a lot to do, but the fact that we're able to hold on to this peace with the Prussians, and given that they're holding out, uh, or they didn't immediately declare war on me again, 
I think we might be able to hold it on for those extra nine turns that it is right now. Uh, hopefully this does not cause a huge amount of problem for the Dutch. I'm making 56,000 per turn. I could definitely spare some of that money to the Dutch. And as my navy clears off that American fleet up here, um, we could definitely see my fleet moving away from a defensive role around here to actually go on an offensive more around this area as we now only have to contend with the American fleet. Although the American fleet is tougher than the Prussian one, I think combined with the Dutch fleet and the two sh big ships I have, being a little bit cautious, but we could be able to clear this water of American ships. They still have a lot of coast, and I imagine they still have a lot of potential of recreating those ships they lost. But um, the American Navy is definitely not going to be the same uh, for quite a while. And we should be able to relieve the Dutch quite a bit uh, once I get my Navy to support them. With that said, I think we're going to end it right here. I think I'll do a lot of um, in between for these uh, for this episode, as I usually do during the winter months. So we still have about two turns, uh, only two turns left of winter. Hmm. We actually played through that, um, but you go through quite a lot, and I do want to re-establish. France and Great Britain, if I'm able to, within the scope of this campaign. What are the goals, actually? So, by 1870. 1870 is not that far away. It's 1868. Um, so, we have two years left to complete it. I need an additional eight provinces. Should be doable. Um... But I'm starting to run out of time, I realize. Hmm. Not that that matters too much. I'd definitely play beyond that if just to achieve the goal. But that would... Yeah. Okay, two years. But uh, yeah, I... Uh, it's not a, like a, a, I'm going to stop if I fail that. I would continue to just achieve the goal of getting those 40 provinces. But yeah, we've got an idea of what's going on and what's going to go on in the future. Um, so I'll go ahead and not prolong this any longer and say, as I always say, hopefully you guys enjoy this and hopefully I'll see you guys for the next one. Bye.
Sir, your general is under attack. Your victory is close, sir! <laughs> <laughs>